What's up, everyone? This is Disney Plus Deets, where we break down everything you need to know about your favorite Disney Plus movies and series. I'm Kenneth. And I'm Marcellus. And not to toot our own horns, but we're pretty much the biggest Disney Plus fans out there. No, let's do it. Toot toot, beep beep. That's right. Let's get into it. For today's episode, we're hunting for the deepest of deep details from the filming of National Treasure. Marcellus, I love this movie, don't you? Listen, I can't get enough. So much action and adventure. It's one of those movies I can just watch over and over again. <laughs> like how you always tease me over and over again. Here we go. Already starting. <laughs> anyway, tell them something they probably didn't know, Kenneth. Let's talk about the main treasure that they're searching for. The Knights Templar treasure. This is an actual treasure. The Knights Templar were so wealthy that all the kings around Europe came to them for loans. I know you wish you were a king. Yeah, I wish you'd give me a loan. <laughs> it was so mysterious. It was lost in the 14th century and has never been found. Though rumors place it in North America. Ooh. That's what inspired the film screenwriters to put it in the hands of America's founding fathers, hidden by a series of clues. That is so cool, I love it. It makes sense because in the colonial days, America's political elite went to great lengths to hide their ideas and treasures from spies and enemies. Mm -hmm. There are rumors of cryptic codes and secret symbols hiding in plain sight woven into early American history. Oh good, I didn't know you were such a history buff, Marcella. Well, you know, I dabble. <laughs> Now this is the part where they're trying to crack more parts of the code. All I can think about is how cold I'd be. And listen, one of the time our heater went out in church, that's exactly how we all looked in church with these coats on. <laughs> and you know what code they were trying to crack? How to get that heater fixed. How to, how to fix the heater. <laughs> so let me drop some knowledge on you then. Ooh, enlighten me, Kenny. Like the Gates family and the fam, many of the founding fathers belong to secret societies such as the Freemasons. Mm. They are an actual society evolved from the historic Knights Templar. Okay. The history, the iconography, the architecture of the real world Freemasons inspired the plot, the clues, and visual language of the film. Kim, you're so smart. Thank you. I love Ben Gates' disco collar. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say nothing. I love it. <laughs> He didn't come to play. He gonna be stylish and smart. Stylish and <laughs> smart. When the film crew was ready to shoot at the National Archives, it was actually closed for renovations. Uh-oh. So, an accurate recreation had to be built on the soundstage, and it had to match the new post-renovation look. It is just mind-boggling to me how they can build replicas like that. Mm -hmm. You know how long it took me to build a dresser in my new apartment? <laughs> I know they would've fired me. <laughs> yes, I remember, because I helped you move. You still owe me for that, by the way. Uh, keep going. When Ben... Abigail and Riley drive into Philadelphia right here, they're going over the Benjamin Franklin Bridge. Mm. Just a cool nod to the Founding Fathers theme in the movie. Now, when I was a kid, my family took a road trip in our RV to Ooh. visit various historical sites, and we crossed that very same bridge. Ooh. In fact, when we visited Philadelphia, I was able to see the Declaration of Independence. Then, did you notice that the actual Declaration of Independence is pretty badly faded, mm -hmm. and many of the signatures and its title are too difficult to read now? Mm -hmm. The one in the film is a replica, so they could make those areas a little more legible. And I'm thinking just like so I didn't authentic. even know it was all this intricate. First right. of all, we went to go see the Declaration of Independence. I just thought it was a security guard standing at the door. No, I had no look, idea it was all going this stuff. Down into the <laughs> depths. I would be like so outdone by it. Anyway, let's talk about the FF. Marcellus, what is the FF? Ben, Patrick, and John Gates were all named after founding fathers. FF, get it? Wow, Marcellus. No comment. Support me, support me. Abigail Chase, who is played by Diane Kruger, is a combination of Abigail Adams, wife of John Adams and Samuel Chase, a signer of the Declaration of Independence. If I was a teacher, I would uh, have my students watch National Treasure. I, I believe it. <laughs> Just to kind of teach them a little bit. Even Riley, who's one of my favorite characters ever, yeah. he's inspired by real teenagers hired by the National Security Agency to build computer models. OMG, the NSA could have used me. I used to love doing puzzles as a teenager. Uh -uh, I don't think so. The NSA wasn't hiring nobody to do no jigsaw puzzles. Oh, oh, they're shooting at him. We gotta go, we gotta go. Hurry up, get on the elevator, Ben. Get on you know, the elevator. And they said it was bulletproof. I love that he put that in front of him because it's another fact that comes out. 
down. He rose and up. He rose the up so quick. Independent. He is the thought, real one. Look, he thought so fast too. He had on his white Usher gloves though. Yeah. <laughs> it's so amazing. Speaking of experts, various consultants were brought in to help make the film more believable. They brought in real treasure hunters, cryptographers, code breakers, and criminal strategy experts to bring the heist to life. It's this attention to detail that's incredible. Listen, Marcellus, you see these catacombs and that bottomless shaft? They don't exist in real life, but they were inspired by real chambers and tunnels mm. found under the Trinity Church. The skeletons are both in the film and in real life. That is creepy. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not stepping on any of those wooden planks. No, they do not seem sturdy. We don't even know if that stuff is gonna hold my body weight up. And I don't weigh that much. Don't uh, say nothing. Well, okay. Don't say nothing, because we'll I know I set forward, myself up. Yeah, know? let's move forward. Because <laughs> I know I set myself up for that. <laughs> <laughs> One aspect of Trinity Church that wasn't included in the film is an outdoor cemetery on church grounds that includes the remains of one Alexander Hamilton. What? Why do I suddenly have the urge to sing? Hmm. Okay, if you didn't catch on, we think National Treasure is a Disney treasure. You're absolutely right, Ken. This is such an amazing movie. Don't forget to check out National Treasure, now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Take care of yourself and the planet. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Yes, and tell us in the comments below what movies or shows you want us to give you all the Disney Plus deets on next. Thanks, Marcellus. Oh, you're welcome, Ken. Marcellus and Ken, signing off.